Yo, yo, what's happening, people? It's Roll Easy here, and yeah, we have another solo money glitch for you guys. Um, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of posting these, to be honest with you. I know you guys are too. Go follow me on Twitter. I'm running a poll right now on what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of videos you guys would want to see on the channel. Don't get me wrong, solo money is the best, you know, but. It, it is kind of getting, you know, a little bit too much for me. I would like to post some more variety on the channel. So if you got some ideas, you can put it down in the comments or go and follow me on Twitter and go ahead and mark what you would like to see and what you wouldn't like to see. That is all up to you. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I do want to have a little bit more variety on the channel because this is getting kind of tiresome to keep posting solo money glitches all the time. Okay, so now let's get on to this solo money glitch. What you are going to need is, and it's by far like the easiest one we've had, you need the facility, obviously it needs to be full with Fagos or RHH to overwrite, okay? You need to get that full alert, that's very important. Now, no Avenger, uh, no, you know, no MOC, nothing like that. What you do need though for this glitch is you need a Benny's vehicle to duplicate, and this Benny's vehicle must not have bulletproof tires, okay? Now, here's the thing about bulletproof tires. If you've been duping already and your vehicle has bulletproof tires, which it should if you wanted to get the most money out of it because they're like 25 grand, you cannot do this glitch with that vehicle. You actually need to go and upgrade a fresh vehicle. And obviously, we all know which one to use. That's the LG Retro Custom, which starts off with the base LG RH8 like you see right here. You have to pretty much, you know, upgrade one of these from scratch once again, okay? And not put bulletproof tires on because you can't take them off, all right? I don't know why, but Rockstar doesn't allow us to just simply take off bulletproof tires. That's not an option. Once you got them on, you got them on. That's it. All right, so I'm just kind of showing you guys right now what it looks like to fully mod up an LG RH8. Now, you need custom plates for this glitch, as you can see, to make an LG Retro Custom. You want to take it to Benny's, and that base upgrade is $904,000. You want to go ahead and start putting all the most expensive things on the vehicle. One of the most important things is the horn. Go to Loops and go to the San Andreas Loop. That's a $90,000 horn. You definitely want to put that on. That will increase the value, uh, you know, huge, okay? That is huge to get the most value out of your vehicle. Now. The plates, you need custom plates for this glitch. So throw on one of your custom plates. That's very, very important. Now, go to your uh, go to your colors for the primary, put on a crew color that is worth the most. Then put on a pearlescent. The bright purple is like $20,000. Go ahead and put that. For secondary, put on a crew as well. All right, those are the most expensive paint jobs you can put on the vehicle. The other really important thing to remember are the wheels. You wanna go to high-end chrome rims, the Carbon S Racer. It's a almost $90,000 you know, rim, that's the one you want to put on. Now, what you want to skip is right here, tire enhancements. You do not want to go to tire enhancements. Don't even click on it, there's no point. I, uh, I actually clicked on it once and it double clicked on me and it actually put them on after I did all that. So I had to close the app real quick, but as you can see, we're getting a pretty good amount for this LG Retro Custom. I was getting 958 right there. I've, I can get it up a little bit more, but you know, for the video, this will do. All right, I probably just missed a few little, uh, you know, a few little details right there. But anyways, you're also going to need some Molotov cocktails as well, or you can use a jerry can. Now, for those of you that don't know how to get Molotov cocktails, there's a few ways. The solo way is to just call up Merriweather and ask for an ammo drop. The ammo drop is $1,000, all right? Not bad at all. Uh, so as you can see right there, you saw my inventory. I have four Molotovs on me, and I'm going to go ahead and try to get some ammo for another gun. Okay, the way you get ammo for another gun is you just walk up to the crate once it gets delivered with that gun you want ammo for. Okay, so right now I got four Molotovs and I'm just waiting and I there you go. It just landed. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I got sniper ammo plus you go to my Molotovs. I got three more went from four to seven. Okay, so that's how you get Molotov solo. The other way to do it is to have a friend invite you to his motorcycle club. I think he can make you the road captain and you can actually drop yourself Molotov uh, cocktail ammo. Okay. So there's a, I do believe there's a few other ways to do it. I'm not aware of them, but there are other ways to get those. Okay. But that was the solo method I just showed you right there. I wanted to make sure I included that in the video this time. Uh, oh, and by the way, the founders of this glitch are, you got Lispy Leaf, uh, King Alex HD, and I believe Spiders 2 is the guy's name. But uh, yeah, I'll leave everybody's links down in the description. So what you want to do now is with your non-bulletproof vehicle tie or non-bulletproof vehicle, <laughs> uh, you want to go ahead and go up to your full facility, get the full alert, open up dashboard, then close Close dashboard now go ahead and drive up to the side of the facility as you see me do right here 
get out of the vehicle, go ahead and toss a Molotov right here. This is the easy way to do it with a Molotov. I'm going to show you how to do it with a jerry can after. So now all you got to do is go ahead and drive up and then count one, two, three, four, five. All right. Five seconds is good. And as you, I don't know if you heard it right there, I had the volume up, but what just happened right there is you just heard like a phew. What that is, you want to listen to that. It's more, it's better to actually listen for that sound than to count by seconds. I just counted seconds to show you guys roughly how long it takes, but that could change depending on how much fire there is. All right. Uh, once you hear that, like, phew, that, that noise, that's the, that's the sound of, you know, something catching on fire. That's when you want to go ahead and accept that alert. Once you accept the alert, drive away from the facility like you see me do here. Okay. You want to drive pretty far away. Now I'm going to show you how far I actually drove away. So check it out. See that? My facility's there. I'm over here. Uh, I basically use this as a point. These are the oil fields. This is where I go every time I do this glitch. So your tires eventually come off. Uh, that's why we're doing non-bulletproof tires. That's very important for this glitch. You can do this without bulletproof or with bull bulletproof tires, but it's, it's much more difficult, guys. I recommend doing it without. All right, you'll hit it almost first try every time. So right there, go ahead and accept the full alert. The way you know that's a duplicate is you'll see on the top left, it says the vehicle cannot uh, come into the uh, facility and then it lets you in anyways. So now go ahead and overwrite one of your Fagios RH8s or in my case, Sanchez's. And there we go. We have a duplicate. Now, if you're still unsure and you want to go ahead and check the way, the other way to check is, you know, oh yeah, make sure you got a custom plate. Remember now this is a clean dupe. All right. Cause I put a custom plate on it before. Very, very important. So the other way to fully check if this is an actual dupe is to just hop in it and drive out. And remember, just like the gift cards to friends and stuff, you will get bricked when you drive out of the, uh, the you know, the facility. So there you go. I'm bricked out of it. I know 100% this is a dupe. All right. So now I'm going to show you an actual fail though. Okay. So here's what can happen when you actually sit at the, uh, the alert with the fire for too long. Okay, so I've gotten my full alert, dashboarded, opened it, closed it, and then came back. Full alert is gone. Drive to the side of the facility, and I was actually using my jerry can here. I'm just going to fast forward through this, not to bore you guys to death. Now I'm going to go ahead and shoot the trail so that I can catch it all up, you know, in flames. And I'm going to go ahead and drive up now. So I'm going to drive up, and then I'm going to just stop and wait. And you heard that? It actually just caught right there. It actually catches again now. Check it out. So it just caught again a second time. Then I accepted the alert. You, I waited way too long. You see, I didn't even have to count five seconds at first. It caught much quicker. And as you can see, the actual vehicle is on fire. The back of it, you know, uh, the trunk area is actually, it's, it's caught on fire. So I wasn't too sure what would happen here, but you know what? I just kept driving away just in case. Let's see what happens. And you know, it's still on fire. I was like, okay, let me just keep going. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. No, check out what happens. <laughs> The whole vehicle disappears and I actually die in it. I'm pretty sure this is like a gift cards to friends thing that you can do with that. But that's what happens when you sit there for too long. So I don't recommend sitting there for too long. Listen for that noise, all right? That noise when the stuff catches. So here we go. This is me using the jerry can successfully. I got the full alert, dashboard open, dashboard closed. Come back, alert is gone, drive to the side of the facility. Now go ahead and take out your jerry can. Remember, you can buy one of these at, uh, you know, ammunition. Fill up the ammo before you waste it. Uh, what happened right here is I actually didn't put enough and it went out pretty quickly. I might have been able to do it there, but I decided not to. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually pour a decent amount. I don't think you need to pour too much because that last one I showed you, that fail, like I caught on pretty quick. So I don't think it needs to be too much. I don't know. It depends on maybe the grass area, the field around the facility. I'm not sure, but I even filled up more ammo right now and I just, you know, put a little bit more. Make sure it's all connecting and stuff like that. That probably will help. But I just wanted to show you both ways in case you run out of Molotovs and you can't call for an ammo drop. So now I'm going to go ahead and shoot the trails. You want everything to catch properly. So it's all going to catch properly. I'm going to drive up now. I got the full alert. Boom, right there. You heard that? So I didn't even have to count too much right there. I, I heard that whew, noise, you know, the stuff caught. I'm going to drive away. The tires pretty much all, you know, burn out. Well, burn out, burn off, I should say. And then drive far away, come back, you'll get the facility full alert. Top left, it says you cannot enter with this vehicle. And if done correctly, yep, you will be able to replace a vehicle. And we have ourselves another dupe because I'm going to replace right over that one.
just like that guys we've created a bunch of dupes uh, I actually had created one more so I actually have three that I made while trying to make the footage for this video so that's pretty much it guys super easy solo money glitch all right still working right now it's Sunday I hope everybody has an awesome day I wanted to post this so you guys can have something fun to do today and uh, yeah man I play GTA have fun these glitches are keeping this game alive right now it really is so I hope everybody enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers happy Sunday everybody peace out